In 2021, Kia revamped their logo and branding, but that's not all they did. The company started to release incredible cars that people love, and they've been on a run ever since. One of these vehicles was the Telluride, a large SUV that over-delivers in every way. Now, the South Korean automaker is set to release an electric version of its most popular SUV. The Korean brand has revealed a host of new information about their new electric Telluride, and there have even been several spy shots captured. Join us today as we reveal everything we know about the all-new Kia EV9 that has shocked the entire industry. Before we get into the details, we need to know why the Kia EV9 is so important to Kia. When Kia unveiled the Telluride SUV a few years ago, they nailed it. The Kia Telluride was among the most talked about vehicles in 2021 and has wowed buyers and critics alike since it first hit the market. Despite supply chain problems and a scarcity of semiconductor chips, it experienced record sales in 2020 and again in 2021. Since 2020, demand for a Telluride has skyrocketed, and dealers are either sold out or, unfortunately, marking up their prices above MSRP. So, it's practically impossible to get a Telluride now. That's where the EV9 comes in, an all-electric version of their best-selling ICE EV. So the Korean brand needs to make sure the EV9 meets these high expectations. Kia shocked the auto industry in 2021 when it unveiled the five-seater EV6 crossover SUV, the company's first all-electric vehicle, which won one of the most prestigious automotive honors. Car of the Year Awards named the EV6 the 2022 Car of the Year, one among many other victories for its groundbreaking technology and design. Now they're ready to bring on a successor, and the new seven-seater EV9 SUV is glad to follow in the footsteps of Kia's first EV. The 2024 Kia EV9 was designed to showcase Kia's new brand and design concept for all future automobiles, called Opposites United, just like the EV6. As a result, this future EV9 is built on the groundbreaking Electric Global Modular Platform, or eGMP, developed by Hyundai Motor Group that underpins the EV6 as well. The 2024 Kia EV9 will have the same dimensions as the 2021 concept car. It'll be 194 inches long, 81 inches wide, 70 inches high, and 122 inches for the wheelbase. This new electric SUV, according to Kia, will have a driving range of up to 300 miles and uses cutting-edge ultra-fast charging technology which can replenish energy from 10 to 80% in just 20 to 30 minutes. This is made possible by the 350 kilowatt charger on the EV9, which adds 62 miles of range in just six minutes of blazingly rapid charging. The EV9 is also expected to be capable of accelerating from zero to 60 miles per hour in five seconds in top spec. The upcoming EV9 will be Kia's biggest electric vehicle and it keeps some of its wide boxy design cues. It has a wide track similar to a high-end Range Rover and flared fenders suggesting off-road capability. It comes standard with striking 22-inch machined aluminum wheels with a triangle design reminiscent of the 1980s. Since the EV9 is an electric car, it doesn't need a big grill to house radiators for the engine. It features a simple front appearance with silver accents that hint at a conventional grill. LED headlights are also built into the silver components that run along the side. They flank additional LED running lights in a patchwork pattern, once again offering the hint of a traditional grille. The 2024 Kia EV9 combines a multitude of innovative features both inside and out. For one, it'll have a solar panel integrated into the hood, retractable roof rails for improved aerodynamics, and an interior constructed of sustainable materials. It'll seat up to seven passengers in a roomy, adaptable three-row layout. Kia intends to gradually stop using animal leather in all of its vehicles, so like the EV6, the upcoming EV9 incorporates a variety of environmentally friendly materials. These include recycled plastic bottles, wool, fishing nets for flooring, and even vegan leather. For changeable interior modes, the concept EV9 had to swivel the front and back seats. Active mode is a forward-facing driving alignment. With the front seats turning to the back and the center seat folding down to create a table, Pause mode transforms the interior into a lounge. For camping and tailgating, Enjoy mode can pivot the back seats so they face the outside of the trunk. Whether these modes will be present in the final EV9 is not yet known, but for now, if they are, it'll make this EV stand out. 
Given that Americans prefer massive SUVs and that Kia plans to use locally produced batteries to assure affordability and supply stability, the US-built three-row 2024 Kia EV9 SUV may be the electric SUV to keep an eye on. Kia has not yet disclosed the price of the upcoming EV9, but CarAndDriver.com has estimated a base model starting at $50,000. The GT-Line all-wheel drive edition of the EV6 now costs a maximum of $57,695. As a result, expect that the EV9 will start at about $55,000 and that the most luxurious models would cost up to $75,000 or so. Although that sounds like a lot of money, the Kia appears to be a complete bargain when you realize that the Tesla Model X cost $122,440 for a vehicle that's roughly the same size as the EV9. One question that keeps coming up is should you wait for the EV9 or just buy the Telluride? Consumers love the Kia Telluride SUV, and sure, the Telluride provides incredible value for the money, but it's just a mid-size SUV, unlike the upcoming EV9. The Kia Telluride first debuted back in 2020, and since then, the Telluride has quickly risen to the top of the mid-size SUV rankings in just two years. The base price of a 2022 Kia Telluride is $33,390. And this might make it more attractive as we expect the EV9 to start above 50,000. But that shouldn't be a problem when you consider the fact that the EV9 will be electric and can save you money in the long run. For context, the Telluride is a 3.8 liter V6 engine and has a city fuel economy of 20 miles per gallon and a highway fuel economy of 26 miles per gallon. Another advantage of the EV9 is that it's made of recycled and environmentally friendly materials. And most importantly, the EV9 is much bigger than the Telluride and more suitable for families or people who travel with a lot of luggage. Ahead of the Kia EV9's global debut in 2023, Kia has disclosed details of the final, rigorous testing program it conducted. The all-electric Kia EV9, according to the automaker, will establish the brand as a leader in sustainable electric vehicles and redefine the market for large electric SUVs. Every aspect of the EV9 is currently being tested to the breaking point at Kia's global Namyang R&D center in Korea. The EV9 was developed over 44 months to set new standards in design, performance, range, driving dynamics, technology, and comfort. To ensure maximum dependability, even in the most difficult circumstances, the EV9 was ruthlessly put through a rigorous verification program during its last testing phase, which included a four-wheel drive climbing hill, a rough terrain track, as well as a deep water wading test. Like every Kia model, the EV9 has undergone rigorous testing, not only at the Namyang R&D Center, but also in many locations throughout the world. Hyundai's electric global modular platform, eGMP, is not exactly a novel addition to the market for electric vehicles, since it's currently utilized by the 2022 Kia EV6, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Genesis GV60. In essence, it's a dedicated skateboard-style BEV platform, which means the vehicles hug the corners and the floor plan is left empty to accommodate the batteries. As a result of the long wheelbase, the front and rear overhangs are kept low, which reduces the outward dimensions and gives you a roomy cabin. This lowers the center of gravity, creates a spacious flat floor, and frees up a lot of room for the rear seat passengers and any luggage. It's also expected that the traditional side view mirrors will be replaced by wing cameras on the EV9. These more compact cameras reduce wind resistance and are compatible with the enormous 27-inch digital display. Currently, Kia has a function known as the BVM, or the Blind Spot View Monitor, which, when the corresponding turn signal is activated, shows a live feed of the blind spot on the digital instrument panel. We also expect to see the existing features of Kia's DriveWise range of driver assistance systems, as well as perhaps even more semi-autonomous features. DriveWise comes with functions like intelligent high beams, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, pedestrian detection, and more. It also has navigation-based smart cruise control. So, what do you think about the all-new Kia EV9? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching today. We truly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV and tech news.